Hello, everybody. I am Angry Bird. Okay, so we're starting the first of our first look videos at the new divisions coming in the Burning Baltics DLC. Here's the dog to keep me company. <laughs> and today we're going to look at Panzer Verband Strachwitz. I mean, you should know the channel by now. I'm going to get all the pronunciations of units and divisions wrong. So you're just going to have to put up with it, I'm afraid. <laughs> Let's just read a little bit more about the division. Uh, Panzerverband Strachwitz was an ad hoc battle group formed specifically for Operation Doppelkopf. Uh, led by the colourful Count uh, Strachwitz, known as the Panzergraf. This rather green formation was lavishly equipped with armor and served as the offensive's powerful flanking force. With Creek Marines' uh, support from the nearby Gulf of Riga, Panzerverban Strachwitz managed to take Tukums and open the way to the Latvian capital. While limited in infantry, anti-tank and AA units, a large variety of tanks can be deployed from old training variants to to Stugs, Lukes, Tiger E's, plenty of Panthers, as well as captured Boiter T-34s. Several different types of STK have said 251, uh, I think that's Panther D hot, no, it can't be Panther. I can't remember what Ausfer, um stands for, half tracks anyway, also uh, feature strong off-map artilleries provided by the heavy cruiser Prince Eugen and uh, Prince Eugen, sorry. Hands of a band, Strachwitz is a battle group geared up to attack, and if put on the defensive, might not fear as well. Okay, I for some reason I can't remember what Ausfer stands for. I don't know. It's gone out of my head. I'm sure I used to know that. Um. Okay. So what am I expecting? I think it's this line here: limited in infantry, anti-tank, and AA units large variety of tanks so i'm expecting a lot of tanks so if you like tanks you may well like this division let's jump in and have a look okay so um in terms of slots you get a decent number of anti uh, anti-tank slots anti yeah you still get a decent number but the cost is a lot more two two three four also what i would say is i am running uh, obviously an early copy of burning baltics dlc so i cannot 100 percent guarantee that this will be the final uh, retail version um but i think it i think it is um and lack of infantry yeah you don't get that many infantry slots to be fair so i think that's fairly on point for what you get let's jump into the recon tab now another point as well there's going to be a lot of changes here to do with rangers and well gun rangers in particular and possibly other stuff i'm not actually going to go into them because i don't know a lot about it if i'm honest i haven't done a huge amount of testing uh well i haven't really done any testing in the strike team for eugene on this dlc i've been obviously you know i've been away from the game uh, so I don't really want to talk about stuff that I don't know. There will be other content creators out there that will go into uh, that in much more detail than I can. Okay, so let's have a look at what we've got. We've got the standard BMWs, nothing too exciting. We've got the Alfkler, um, which only have standard vehicles. Kind of surprising to say they have a lot of tanks. Um, yeah, the, the standard Alfkler, standard. Uh, Spa Troop. Again, pretty standard. I do love the uh, weaponry now. We're in high graphics. <laughs> I think this is the first look video that we've actually got insane graphics on. <laughs> um, okay. Erkundungs. Um, oh, it looks like these come in the recon ve vehicles. Uh, let's see if we can hide the hood and get a look at that. Oh, yeah. I love the... I mean, every single First Looks video, I go into how much I love the modelling. But it's true. The modelling's great. Um, so, yeah, there's the Akundung's Recon Squad in the, the half-track. 
Uh, the SDK I've said, 251-1D half track, 25mm frontal armor. It's, it's substantial for a half track. It's got recon optics. It's in the recon tab, I guess. Uh, and an MG42 on top. So let's have a quick look at the infantry division. Three PPS each. Okay, so some captured Russian... Um, Submachine guns there, six G43 rifles, MG42, three frag, three frag grenades. So I can see these boys being taken, especially if we are limited in the infantry tab. Um, to have those um, frag grenades, then uh, yeah, I think they're going to get used as a, and they come with a half track. I guess 35 points on total. I don't really know in terms of points how effective that is right now i'm so far behind and then we get the standard fusilier squads i'm not quite so sure you players will take this maybe if there's a real lack of infantry and they want to supplement with some actual more squads and then we've got an alfkler panther d here i think this is a pretty standard skin i love the r11 i don't think i don't know actually this might be a new skin do you know what i can't quite remember I love it anyway, even if it is a standard skin. Um, yeah, I guess you get one in A and three in B, which is kind of nice. So I would think people would take these in B. Depends how many Panthers you get in the, the tank tab. Let's move on. Let's look at the infantry. So they were right. You don't get a lot of choice here. So you've got Pioneer SVTs, Hansegrens, with MG34s or Panzergrenz with the MG42 and the Panzerfaust. So the Panzergrenz, they're your main infantry. You do get them in half tracks. Um, but you only get one card of these. So if you take them in A, B, or C, and it looks like. Oh, that's because of the half track, derp. <laughs> yes, yeah, so you only get one card of them. Um, the rest, I mean, they're pretty standard infantry. I don't want to go into too much detail with them. Um, you do get three cards of the Panzergrenz and two cards of the Pioneers. You're not really limited. This is sometimes what gets me when Eugene say things on the summary, like, you're limited in infantry. I mean, come on. You're not really that limited. I guess maybe... Uh, maybe you are a little bit limited. But, I mean, how many infantry units is that? 93. For 10 slots, points. I mean, I guess I've got no leaders in there. You are limited. I will give him that. You are limited. But I maybe was expecting a little bit more limited. I do like the fact there's only one Panzergren squad with the the Panzerfaust, it, yeah, let's, let's shut up, um, uh, right, on to the tanks, I'm sure this is what you're here for, so, we got a Panzer 3H, which, I can't remember whether the H version was in the game, I know we had a Panzer 3L, and I'm pretty sure we had the Panzer 3M, I can't 100% remember, a lot of these units might be forgotten units, because nobody uses them, <laughs> Uh, we got a Panzer 3H Führer, and this skin actually does remind me, so I, I'm pretty sure we have had a Panzer H Führer, at least in the game. And we got the Panzer 2 Locks, and these, these guys were fantastic in Steel Division Normandy. Um, so it's good to see some more divisions using them. Uh, they were probably a bit out... I don't know, they were probably... Well, let's, let's get off that. Um... Yeah, you get 6 of them in A, you get 12 of them in B awesome <laughs> and we got some panzer 4 g's uh, but these are limited to a phase it looks like still panzer fours are pretty strong right now i don't know what they're going to be like after this dlc we've got the boiter t3485 now they're only available in b phase but i wonder whether it's light early and then medium and heavy later but still boiter t3485s 
I mean, T3084, 85s have always been in this weird position in this game. So let's hope that the Billy Baltics DLC helps out the T3485. Then we've got Tiger E's. Now, I don't think th this is a standard skin. I'm pretty certain. Um, Tiger E's, you can get in A phase, B phase, or C phase, but you only get one card of them. So you're going to have to make that choice. Then we've got Panther E's. Again, A phase, B phase, C phase. Again, only one card. We've got a Panther A Fura. And then we've got Panther G's. And again, A, B, or C. But we have three cards of Panther G's. So you do get a hell of a lot of Panthers in this division. And then finally, we've got the Panther G Fura. <laughs> uh, if you're wondering why I'm laughing, that's just the dog. Just running around with his toy in the background, as usual. Trying to get his face on TV. On TV, on YouTube. <laughs> okay, into the support tab. Uh, we got the Flampanzer, which is pretty underutilized, but I love the fact they've got the men in the back. Uh, the Flampanzer's never always had the men in the black, in the back. They never always had men in black in there. <laughs> But, um, yeah, they are there now, so that's kind of cool. Um, I'm not sure how much we'll see of the Flampanzas. Maybe things will change. Maybe things will change. Um, we got the SDK I've said, 251-9D. Oh, this does have the guy sitting down as well. Um, yeah, it looks like an IG-18 in a different version of a half-track. So more frontal armor, I think, than the standard half-track. <laughs> Sorry if the dog's disturbing you, he's just... We've got wooden floor and he's running around like a maniac, as usual. Uh, I, do, I know my mic does actually a really good job of cutting out the noise, because whenever I'm saying it, like, he is making a ton of noise. I have my headphones on, which are proper bulky headphones, and it, there's so much noise, so my mic actually does a really good job of cutting down the amount of noise. So if you wonder why I'm randomly saying it, if, if you're not hearing much noise, it's because probably the noise in the room is much worse than what you're getting through the mic. Anyway, IG-18s. Um, we've got 4 in A and 8 in B, and they come in the Horsh. Uh, pretty standard uh, transports for a lot of these units, so most people will want to take them, of course. We've got the MG-42s. The, these did get a huge buff um and they are really good now you can actually take these guys in an sd kev said 251 slash 17 d wow look at that oh i love that it's actually a flak 38 with an mg42 that is really good is it really good no i was thinking it was the flak 37 I think, which is th 37 mil. So it's only a 20 mil. But still, they said you were lacking AA, so maybe this will help them. You can actually get AA on your MG42s. It's like a double support weapon, really. <laughs> um, what else have we got here? We got munition trucks, of course. Uh, we got the commandant, um, of course. He can also come in the AA truck. Or the AA half track. Um, we got the B B F S D K F Z two five one slash three, which got the M G thirty four, and all of these are A phase commanders now. Uh, we finally got Eugene to change to uh, something that makes more sense. Because why would you take a C phase commander? You wouldn't really do that. Uh, and then we have the B F Panther A. Okay, on to the anti-tank tab hopefully this is not going to run on too long i'm sure i'll speed these up as i'm going through the um the remaining videos we've got a panzer boucher 39 anti-tank team uh, they can come on the bmws and in the cubals uh reasonable not nothing over the top because you prob they are only five points though i love the little icons they've got in now it's really good really good I mean, if you think where this game has come from, just these little touches, they just make something... They, they do make a difference, but it's kind of... 
I guess for people on release of this game that kind of pick it up and then put it down, they don't really get to see the finished product of what this game is. Um, but that's how game development works nowadays, I guess, isn't it? You don't really get the finished copy when it's released. You actually get the first release copy. <laughs> put it nice. Um, yeah, so back to the game. We've got the Panzer Shreks. They can come in the um, bikes. I'm sure you want to take them. We've got the Stug 3 F8s, which I always want to make this vehicle work. I always like the thought of this vehicle, but it never works. I could just never seem to make them work. Um, you get them in A, B, and C phase. Uh, and then we get the Pack 40 which is in A and B phase. Now, you only get one card of pack 40, so you're probably going to want to take them in B phase. And this is actually a limited anti-tank tab. Thanks, Eugene. <laughs> you, you described it right. I would probably suggest most people would take something like the Panzer Shreks in A, the pack 40s in B, and you've got a lot of tanks anyway, so that's not that bad, to be fair. You might want to supplement some more Panzer Shrek's in there, but yeah, I don't think that's too bad because you have a lot of tanks in here. You have a lot of heavy tanks, Panthers, Tigers, that kind of thing. So I don't think that's um, going to disrupt the division too much. And we got into the AA tab. We got the Pat Flak 38. Wow, look at that. Isn't that funny? We got the Flak 38 and they don't come in the half track to double up the Flax. That's one of the only divisions I've seen that, which is kind of strange because those trucks are on, or half tracks, I keep calling them trucks, but they are on the MG42s. So that's that's kind of strange to see, if I'm honest. <laughs> we'll have to see whether that's a mistake or not. Uh, Fact 36, 37 mils. These are really powerful guns, but you only get them in A phase. You only get one card. Uh, the Flak 20s, you only get in A phase. Oh, that might be why, because they were limited in AA. That might be kind of why, so you can't double up, but you can get it on other stuff. I don't know. And then we get some mobile wagons. I really wish mobile wagons were used more, but I can see why they aren't, and they are costly as well. Um, but you do get them in A and B phase, so we might see more mobile wagons in the game. Uh, and finally, we've got the SDKFZ 7 slash 1. Probably one of the best. Well, it's a flat billing on half track wheels. <laughs> uh, on tracks, tracks and wheels. <laughs> um, it's probably one of the best. AA weapons in the game. Yep, the dog thinks so too. And... Um, yeah, you get one in A, two in B, four in C. There's not much more to say, but you are limited in cost here, so I would probably think most people would take the three flak 37s in A phase, and then they'll bring in the two seven ones in B phase. Or you could, if you want more, bring in the four mobile wagons. Um, but I think most people would play it with the three uh, 37s and then the flat flat billings after. Um, let's have a look in the artillery tab. Ah, we've got the Elect Baobacher. Baobacher. I never. <laughs> and they've got the cool ammo. Uh, ammo? They've got the cool camouflage. Um, yeah, they are really cool uniforms. That will never get seen on the battlefield. <laughs> <laughs> they actually get their own Kubel wagon, but it's not, I don't, and their own motorcycle, but they aren't special camos. camos. And when we've got the battery fuhrer, yeah, I know, cool camos, cool uniforms on the battery fuhrer. Uh, but they only come in the Zis 5V trucks, how weird, but at the same time, awesome. So your battery fuel is limited. That's that's awesome to see. I have not really spoke about the uh, rifles here. So they got a a rifle, a bolt action level rifle. Do you know what? It might be because I'm not really read up much about the division, but I'm kind of assuming these are different troops. Someone's gonna have to write in the comments. 
because um, they've got the different rifle there, not the Car 98K, which is the German rifle. Um, so we have 81 mil mortars. I don't really want to go too in depth on these. 105 millimeter um, artillery. Uh, LEFH, we've got the 120 mil mortars. We've got, wow, okay, cool. It comes in the, uh, the little trailer. Awesome. Let's hide the HUD so we can get a good look at the skin. Oh, man. Oh, I love this. I don't know why. So good. Uh, we got the Bayo AR-196A3. 203mm off map from the Prince Eugene. Oh, cool. It's a... Um, of course, it's like a cruiser-launched um, artillery observer. I haven't read the post. <laughs> and it's got bombs. It's got 250kg bombs on it, as well as being an artillery observer. How insanely awesome. <laughs> it will probably get shot down really easily. Um, because it's going to be slow as hell. And you can get four of these in C phase. I don't know how good this off map's going to be, but they said it was good. So I don't know whether it's just going to be like a standard 203mm or whether this, it's going to have something special to it. Um, but yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, we got some mortar half tracks. We got a Panzer Werfer and a Werfer Rahman. Uh, again, probably murder in pronunciation. Oh, look at this. The rockets point the right way, guys. The dogs come to have a look as well. The rockets point the right way on the way from it. <laughs> the little things. The little things. Um, Yeah, we're from and are really good. Like, they are really good. Okay, on to the Air Force. I probably spent too long on this, this division. Um, we got the ME410A3. Uh, nothing too special. We've got another version of the carrier plane, uh, the cruiser plane. I really love the fact that they've given us a standard version in the air tab. Um, just so you could use these planes without being so protective over them if you've got the um, the artillery observer version. Uh, we've got some JU-87 G2 tank busters. And we have the JU-87 G2 ace rudel um, with this special skin here um i like it oh i like it i wouldn't say i'm like over the top in love with it but you know i do like all the special skins of course um there we have there we have it uh, again, it's a tank buster variant of the Ju-87. Uh, we've got oh, we've got the Dornier 217E4 with the squiggly line camo. I mean, spotting that from above, interesting. It's going to be interesting. I do love this camo. I I kind of it's very basic underneath. But um, yeah, I do love that camo. Really nice. But again, we probably won't see a lot of them in game. Uh, depending on what the other variant is. And we've got the Focke Wolf 190A8. This will be the standard fighter. You do get three cars. I was about to say you're going to be unfortunate with fighters. But no, you do get three cards. So you can't... Oh, and there's three in A. So most people will just take one card. <laughs> I suppose that's more room for the bombers. Ah, now this guy might get used. This guy might get used more often as we zoom in on him. Finally, the fate. This this guy in in the aircraft actually looks really good. Some of the other ones in the infantry tab don't always look as good. Um, but yeah, the Dornier 2174 with the four 500 kilogram bombs, a 2000 kilogram loadout. Yeah, I think this guy will get used, um, so it's good to see. Defensive weapons. Yeah, we have defensive weapons. Okay, how do I feel about the division? Um, overall, is it going to get used? Yeah, I think it will get used. Um, it is a tank-based division, uh, but 
at the same time, it has some limitations. So I don't think it's going to get over the top amount of use. Uh, I think some people will, will like the division and will will kind of get really good at good at the division. Um, the off map could come in really handy having that on a tank division, really. And the Panzer II Luxes are, are pretty cool. Um, the fact you've got tigers, you've got some tigers, you've got lots of panthers, is pretty cool. So yeah, I think it will see some use, but I wouldn't say the use would be over the top. Uh, in terms of my Angry Birds unit of the division, um, my favourite unit, are we going to pick the carrier plane, the cruiser plane? I keep calling it a carrier plane. I think I am, yeah, I do like it. It's a, it's a... It's a completely different model with the um, obviously the sea landing struts. I don't know what you'd, you'd call them. Uh, the ability to land on the water uh, and then obviously get picked back up by the cruiser is pretty damn cool. Um, I wonder where it would hook on with the crane. Would it be this radio antenna? Well, you'd have thought this. Maybe it's a strengthened version. Yeah, it looks pretty pretty strong steel wire so i presume they hook on uh there uh although this wonder what that is for <laughs> i wonder whether that's a replacement i wonder whether that steel wire there is a replacement for this one um in case it kind of gets cut off in battle somehow <laughs> um and then they can still crane it back on yeah i might be making no sense whatsoever um but anyway yeah this is my favorite unit of the division i think it's the dog's favorite unit of the division as well and uh we're gonna leave it there thanks very much for watching uh look look out for more of these uh first look uh videos and also hop into the discord the link's in the description i'm doing a giveaway on the dis on the discord for a free copy of the burning baltics dlc um so hop in there there's a special channel for it uh you should see messages but you can send me a ping in discord uh to ask me if, if you don't see it but there's a special giveaway channel and uh yeah jump on and get a free copy of the dlc and um, the the deadline for that the giveaway is actually going to be the 29th of april um and it's scheduled for 12 o'clock gmt um but uh well yeah jump on and join and get yourself a free copy thanks very much for watching guys i'm angry birds i'll see you next time